I'm Andy from Incredible Edible Wakefield, and this is a 10th tutorial in our series, Stay Home and Grow Your Own. And today we're going to have a go at sowing some runner beans. And this video will also cover you for climbing French beans. So, equipment-wise what we need is, we need a marker pen or a pencil to label up. We need scissors to open our seeds. Seeds themselves, a small pack here of six, these are white emergo, but there are various varieties available. We need some water. Here we've got a little watering can, but you could also just use a water bottle or a old pot bottle. We've got some holes pinned in the top of this one, just to use it for smaller seeds as well. We're going to need some loo rolls. We've got six seeds in this pack, so I've got six loo rolls there. Something to help them stay stood upright. It's an old bedding plant tray I've just cut down. And we need some sort of saucer to sit in that will catch the water. So this is a, an old meat tray. Other options you can use, plant pot with loo rolls and a meat tray there. A meat tray on its own, just with loo rolls, and as long as there's enough packed in to keep them upright, that'll be fine as well. And if we haven't got loo rolls, we can always cut down kitchen roll. And we're going to need plant labels. So these are lolly sticks. But if we haven't got those, cut the bottom out of a margarine tub or an ice cream tub, and you can make your own labels that way. So this is one of the beans, you can see we did this one about a week and a half ago, so they do go quite quickly. You see, the reason that we use loo rolls is that climbing beans don't like their roots to be disturbed when they get planted out. So by doing these in a loo roll, as you can see, the roots are coming out of the bottom there. We're going to plant the whole loo roll into the ground when we're ready to put them in the garden. So as you can see, because the, the loo roll gets damp, it allows the roots to start coming through the sides. So that can go into the ground without disturbing the root system. So let's get started. We get our loo rolls here. Grab our compost. So drop enough compost down in there and keep using our fingers just to compress that down a little bit. We want to put enough into it, probably about an inch, centimetre and a half from the top. And fairly compact. Don't worry if some goes down the side there. That'll just help the roots that do escape out the bottom to have a little bit of extra compost. I'm going to cheat a little bit here, put this to one side. Here's one I did earlier. We get my scissors and these up. Quite a large seed, so I just empty those out into my hand this time. You can see those seeds there. So these are white emergo. Some other runner bean seeds are, uh, and climbing beans are a very pretty bean. Uh, like a mottled effect to them. So I'm going to get the end of my pen and just create a little hole in the compost. Not too far down. Seed wants to be about the same amount under the compost as the thickness of the seed itself. So you see, it's about half a centimetre, so certainly no more than a centimetre below the surface. I've got my six holes there. I'm going to drop one in each hole. Little tip here don't do one at a time, because somebody will come along and talk to you, or you'll get distracted, and before you know it, you'll have lost track of where you've planted and where you haven't. So I always put the seeds on the surface first, and then go back to them to start covering them with the compost. My finger just to press that down a little bit. A little bit of compost. As you see, I'm still about a centimetre, half a centimetre from the top there. The reason we make sure the compost is compact is that the plant needs to be get all to get its moisture and its nutrients from the compost. So if the compost is too loose, the roots will end up being in between particles. And if it's not in contact, it can't uh, draw up the moisture and nutrients. So it's very important to make sure it's fairly compact. Gonna get our label now. These are runner beans and they're white emergo. Some people like to also put the date on the back, so if you're sowing a lot of plants, you may want to know when you did them, just in case some of them don't successfully germinate. Look at that there. Put this one over and sit that in there. This is where you see the reason why we need a, a deep tray. Obviously, cardboard and dryish compost, they're going to take a lot of water before they'll get soaked through. And we need the water, the enough water to come into contact with the seed to start the chemical process of um, the plant germinating. So what I'm going to do here, set my top off this water bottle. You can do this direct from a tap. In this case, I'm going to about half full of water and then carefully place that in there. I can get a bit more in there now. I will check this again in a couple of hours 
you may need to top that water up again initially as I say the cardboard and the compost will soak up so much water that um, you find it may still be perhaps it's still quite dry but you can see already the cardboard is starting to draw the water up there and it's starting to get moist so we keep that wet until we see the plant starting to germinate once it has germinated you need a little bit of water then just to keep it moist every day um, so you keep it in a, on a windowsill a warmish place somewhere it's getting sunlight and warmth and it should take about a week week and a half for this to start germinating uh, and usually when they're about probably three four inches high then they're ready to go into the garden this has been our stay home grow your own tutorial hope you enjoyed it mm -hmm.